Welcome everyone, a special welcome to subscribers. Thanks for checking back. And to you new viewers, you should become subscribers too. Today we're doing a slow cooker video, uh, how to make your own apple cider. This can be hot or cold, but today we gotta make the base. Starting with slow cooker, filled with a bunch of apples that are just cut up. Notice there's still core in there. There's seeds in there probably. Uh, and it's a variety of apples. What I did was I bought five pounds of random apples and just started cutting them up until uh, I got you know enough space to leave a little bit at the top so I can fill this up. To that, I've got a teaspoon of allspice and a teaspoon of nutmeg. Just going to sprinkle that right in. Top of that, I've got one third cup of brown sugar. Just sprinkle that on. Now, we're in Michigan. And if you're in Michigan or Canada, uh, getting your hands on actual real maple syrup is pretty easy to do. And I'm telling you, it's better than the imitation maple syrup. This is one third cup. All right, last of the spice. These are cinnamon sticks. I'm using three, but you know, mix it up. And please feel free to use sugar, um, you know, stevia, honey, whatever you want for your sweeteners. You don't have to do uh, brown sugar and maple syrup. Uh, and like I said, go vary it on your taste. These are one orange that I've gone ahead and just sliced up, peel on. And if you're wondering why isn't he coring and peeling and all that stuff, because it doesn't matter. We're going to strain this through once we're all said and done. And this is just to give it that little zip of freshness. Last but not least, some water. It doesn't matter how much because you're just filling it up until you get the water surface up above your fruit level. So in my case, it was roughly eight quarts. No, two quarts, eight cups. So, All right. You got two ways to go with this. Either way is fine. You can go slow and low. So eight or more hours, the longer you cook, the more that the apples are going to break down. Or you can go high and then just divide it in half. So I'm going to go on high for four hours and then we will come back and see that this will have turned into rather than water with fruit in it, but into a cider. We'll see in four. All right, so we've been in here for uh, probably a good six hours. Uh, the first thing we gotta do is we gotta take some stuff out so we can make some room. Now uh, it's perfectly uh, acceptable or whatever. You know, you can stop here uh, and you could just take all these salads out and you'd have yourself a cider of some shape or fashion. But, as you can see, these are really soft. And the liquid is starting to change color from all these apples. So, with the oranges and the cinnamon sticks out of the way for now, this is a potato masher. We mash. And this is going to give us all that extra burst of apple flavor. And that's really what the cider is about. Apple, cinnamon, you know, apple pie flavors. Um, the citrus really was, like I said, just to give it that zing, that little bit of freshness. Uh, once you get it all mashed up, you're going to let it cook for about another hour. Uh, and then we're going to straighten it out. So I'll mash these, cover it up again, and let it go. And we're done. It's been about another hour, and you can see our nice mush. I've stirred it a little bit. Um, and all we need to do now is take this stuff and put it through the strainer our cider. So, give me a minute or two and we will get this strained out and then you'll see that we have our apple cider all finished. So we'll be back so I get this all strained. Once you have everything all strained out and mashed through and again you can use the strainer like I was using or you could use like a cheesecloth or some other fine mesh. The, obviously the more you get out the better off you are. You'll end up with something that looks like this guy right here. This would be hot apple cider. But of course you can bottle this up and serve it cold. Just put it in the fridge. Should last for about a week or two, um, depending on what you're doing. And you can also freeze it. So if you wanted to save it for a cooking recipe, uh, you can do that as well. Um, that's it. You know the drill. Give this a shot. Let me know if you make any alterations and what you thought. Otherwise, subscribe, share, like, comments below. Check back for the next video. And please take care.